If we're studying engineering and we're out here today because we're going to fight for our rights and we've been lying down for too long, I'm not taking it anymore. Education is the foundation for society and it's what we need to move from surviving to thriving and you know it's so important that people get out and listen to our message that it's important to protect education. We're from St. Angeles, and we're standing against education to also protect the future of the young people of this island. We're here because we're all sick of the cuts in the education budget. College is expensive as it is and they're reducing the amounts you can get in grants. But loads of people are dropping out because they just can't afford it. Education is a key element into the future of our young students. And we're here today to show solidarity with the students. Increasingly we've seen the marketization of education. And we want to get education back to what it is. A public good, a public right and a right for all young people. I'm here protesting for Trinity because of the ed constant education cuts that have been happening over the past five years. And we're just sick of them and we thought we'd make a stand. Because we believe education is a human right and it should be accessible to everybody. Education is about more than just turning out people for jobs. It's about actual knowledge, it's about learning, it's about developing and critical citizens. And it's important to stop them privatizing and commercializing elements of education. We need the grants protected, the maintenance grants and the back to education allowance. The government can't take any more cuts. Students are being crippled and their parents across the country. No 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 I'm here from DCU today uh, looking to support the grant student services. Students are sick of uh, sick of the prices going up, sick of their support services being taken away from. So we're here to we're here to protect that. All over the island of Ireland, both governments are refusing to take young people seriously and invest in education. It's a public good; it should be funded as such. Certainly, are not going to uh, accommodate any further cuts. What we need is a situation whereby the damage that has already been done is addressed and rectified. So we support the students and we support a quality, public, publicly funded education system. Welcome everybody. I'm here as Elaine Harrington, as an activist and as a former student and someone who, like many young in Ireland, are almost deterred for, from applying for education lest they be rejected because they're not eligible or there's too many cuts or it's just not, there's no resource. The thing is that students and workers are not actually separate groups of people. Many students go to work to pay rent, to pay fees, to pay for food, to pay for books. And very often, unfortunately, those workers find themselves in underpaid and precarious work. Michael Newman and Brendan Howland have a choice to make whether to seize the moment, invest in our future by securing access to education and properly funding our educational institutions or lose the day and let that opportunity pass them by. I can see the same on the horizon every time But you are not around, slowly